Okay, hi everyone. Yeah, in this um, part, we're going to go through and basically clean up Windows XP. Um, what you see here at the moment is a brand new install of Windows XP. It's been fully patched, um, all the Windows updates done, so we're starting from scratch. But because this is going to be a dedicated media center, we don't need a lot of stuff that Windows XP comes installed with. So we're going to go through and clean it up. So, well, the first thing we're going to do is go into Control Panel. Okay, so we're going to go through this. Um, there's a lot of things in here that we can clean up. So the first thing we're going to do here is go to Add Remove Programs. What you'll see here is this is all that's on this computer at the moment. It's nice and clean, just the drivers that I need. But what we're going to do is go into Add Remove Programs here. What you want to do is get rid of that. Um, we want to leave Internet Explorer um, so that we can do updates. Oops. But what we'll do is we'll get rid of that. We'll, get, we'll even get rid of that networking service. Um, definitely get rid of Outlook Express. Keep uh, certificates and Windows Media Player, but definitely uninstall Windows Messenger go next. That will literally remove all of that, clean up. Okay, good. It's going to restart. Just say no for now. We don't need it. We'll restart it when we've finished um, doing all of our updates. So let's go check. Um, this is uh, this is um, optional. What I normally do here though is uh, get me to notify because you don't want it to um, install automatically and reboot. It's not always necessary but then you need to go in and uh, manually do it. But that's fine if we go to display. So in here in the desktop what we want to do is you're not going to use any background. What I like to do is turn it off, put into black really basic. Um, go customize, get rid of that. Okay, we don't want any of that, so that's fine as it is. Uh, we don't want any of that. Okay, good. So that's that. Apply that. Oh, oops, sorry. Go back to display. So we've got jump to screensaver. So definitely we want to put that on to zero or put that into none apply if you go into power um, turn off monitor we never want to turn it off because this is a uh, media center advanced turn that off hibernate we definitely want to leave hibernate on and I don't have a UPS so um, that's okay so we go OK. Uh, in appearance, that's fine. We'll just leave that as it is. We'll change that in a second. And in here, everything's fine. So that's good. Next, we want to go into Fold Options. OK, you want to go into View. In here, um, I've already ticked it, but you want to tick that one. Um, you want to tick that one. And you want to untick that one. But leave that ticked. You don't really need to um, do anything with that. So OK. OK, so we'll keep going across. Go into Network Connections. Go into your local area connect network. Go down to Properties. Uh, you want to go into, sorry, Configure and Power Management. You definitely want to turn that off. Close that, go back. What else do we have? We've already been, yep, we've already done that. Um, what else do we have? Okay, so <coughs> a couple of things here is we want to go to system. Okay, in here, I'm just going to go through, you want to go into advanced and then settings and 
ticked it just for best performance. What it'll do is it'll get rid of all those. When I hit apply, you'll see the screen change. It'll look square and boxy and not as good, but um, essentially we don't need it to. We just want um, it a bare basic for um, speed more than anything. And then next we go into remote. Make sure that allow remote assistance is ticked and make sure allow users to connect remotely is ticked. So that's fine. We'll come back to that in a little bit. The other thing uh, is I I turn off all the restores. Okay, so that's done. So good. So personally, myself, I turn off the Windows firewall. I'm I sit behind a firewall anyway. And um, actually, in user accounts, what we want to do is so you've already created your own user. Um, the main user, I just call it media. It's important that you give this user a password as well. So as you see, it says password protected. Um, create whatever password you want. Make it simple um, so you remember it. But what we want to do is we want to create um, a new account. So typically I just call this account copy. If you just call it copy computer administrator create account um, then we want to go into it and we want to create a password I just whatever password you want keep it really simple <coughs> create password alright perfect that's what we need from that uh, we just need to go back into system remote back into remote and select remote users here the main account that we're using at the moment already has remote access. What we want to do is add in the other account that we just created. So go check and if it underlines it like that, that means you're good to go. Go OK, OK, OK. So in terms of um, very basic uh, cleaning up of Windows, that's it there's a little bit more that we can do and we might go into that a little bit later but um, in terms of just the real basics that's all there is to it so we're gonna have to restart a few times but before we do just get onto the Ethernet type into Google Sala term and it'll come up with this Sala terminal server patch or 2.1 that's the one we want so what we just go there we'll download this um, we, we need this and we'll go through and explain why later but we need this but what, what it does essentially is it um, this patch allows um, Windows XP to have multiple concurrent users logging into it so um, very very handy um, so what we want is the latest 2.1 binary. That's what it is, term serve XP2, XP3. We'll save that. I have a whole bunch of stuff saved there. I'll save it into my documents. That's it. Okay, so once that's saved, reboot your computer because of some of those changes it needs us to reboot. So I'm just going to go and restart and I'll be right back. Okay.